Ah, uh, Mark Hearth at night. Is there a place better? I haven't seen it. Maybe we should wait until daytime so that I can get the ball on back to back. Also, there's a standing stone somewhere around here, but I don't know. There's lots of Oh, it's a beaver! Okay, <laughs> it's a bit. Uh, um, there's a, supposed to be a standing stone somewhere around here. A lot of these stones are still standing. I guess. You're jiving. The staff is jiving. That's what the bear was thinking, Abby. Got it at the ready. The lover stone. Ah, she's cute. Those under the sign of the lover always feel a lover's comfort. All skills really improve faster. Yeah, now I'm gonna learn even faster! <laughs> you know people are coming out here doing uncouth things by themselves. I... That's gross, Mike. People that's, are being degenerates. Gross. I was gonna say, I don't know how they got a woman out of that specific orientation of stars. I would have said that it was like a spiral or something, but then... Whatever. Uh, you're not using your imagination. Bunch of freaking coomers out here. <laughs> I see a woman. It's a stick! See those two stars? They look like nipples. They look like boobies. <laughs> Keeping it real. All right, now we go to Markarth. And now it's Sunny and Markarth. Let's enjoy this town. Whoa! Look at Markarth. It's wonderful. It's not bad. It have looks we, cool. Have we been in Markarth yet? No, we've been outside of Markarth, but we've never been in there. Let's walk on in. Hey, look, it's Wanderlust. She made it all the way over here. Who the hell is Wanderlust? She can... Greetings, Traveler. Don't you just love cloudy weather? I do like cloudy weather, actually. Better for the scales in the eyes during the day. And at night, they drift over the moon like a warm bed she tucks in a child. I just like cloudy weather. The weather's great. There's nothing to complain about. And isn't that a wonderful thing? To be without complaints? I think it is something worth celebrating. Ugh, optimists. I should know. I used to always complain about how my son would wander off pointlessly without direction. Now that I wander in his stead, I see my folly. For the only way to find yourself is to lose yourself. Have you considered wearing armor? It would likely be too much of a burden given how old and frail I am. But I appreciate the concern. Besides, if you were a bandit clan, who would you consider a more appealing target? A sweet old farmer or a single soldier dressed in iron? It's a lot of risk in attacking a dude wearing a bunch of armor. It's a lot easier just to rob weak people. Such is how the beasts of the wild operate. They target the young even when it draws the ire of the mother. Ah, but who will serve as the matron of this old Argonian? Maybe a dragon will mistake me for its hatchling. <coughs> Certainly hope not. <laughs> Don't want to spend my last days in a nest, subsisting on a diet of regurgitated goat hearts. <laughs> I don't know if that's what dragons right. work. There really are fates worse than death. I don't think that's how dragons work. I think they just kind of bring an entire goat back there. All right, well, I gotta get going. May you lose your way and find adventure. Maybe you can tell me more the next time I see you. So, you can cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? I'm the fucking archmage of the college. Of that was need you. a drink. I'm the fucking archmage of the college of Winterhold. Yeah, you should be impressed. You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Yep. See, there you go. A bit of jewelry for your journey home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who's the guy with the shank? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Hey! Oh my god. No, I'm doing that over. Okay. I'm doing it over. This pendant would look lovely yeah. in the system. <laughs> I'd die for my By the people. The Forest Horn are here in the city. Everyone stay back. The Markor City Guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. Them. Another body to Gods. get rid of. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? No woman was attacked! This man was woman. murdered! I must have missed it, sorry. Oh, damn. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. <laughs> <laughs> the eight gods? Um, uh, I don't know. I think this is your note. It's not my note. 
My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Definitely didn't fall out of my pocket. I think it fell out of your pocket. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. I think it's this guy's note. Uh, my note? No, it must have fallen out of your I pocket. No, this isn't my note. It must be his note. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Do you know anything about the attack? I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay, goodbye. I'd better get going. We'll handle things from here. I hope your stay in Markarth treats you better. <laughs> better than him, you mean? <laughs> ah! Markarth streets are getting more and more unsafe every day. Hmm, you all right, lady? Did you see that man? By the gods, that man nearly a killed me. Agent you saved my city. life. Eventually. Thank you. Here. I was gonna bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Great, thank you. Hooray, garbage we can sell! He said something about the Forsworn. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. Oh, so they're the Legion. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. You know why he was after you? No. I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. Maybe he was a simple thug. Did you see that, Madman? A forsworn agent. Here in the city. Let's not make assumptions here. You got you got more meat? You can sell it on discount! You like sell it to the Argonians, they eat humans anyway. Uh, introductions aside, Markarth seems like a really nice place. <laughs> you walked in and asserted your dominance. I did. Let's go inside somewhere. The inn. Let's go into the inn. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has ah, plenty of strong in. drink and clean rooms. Put some shoes on, alms. man. Alms. I said alms, you backbiter. Give a cripple worker a helping hand. Sh Shut up, Rigby. <laughs> so, anyone else got any work for us? A pardon me, stranger. Will you help me raise a flagon for my dear departed brother? May he find peace in Sovngarde. I'm, I'm not sure I want to commit to that. Yeah, why not? Then let's raise a toast to the best, bravest, to the best and handsomest damn lord I ever knew. <laughs> oh no! My twin brother, Ungvir. Tell, tell me about your brother. He was a member of the city guard here in Markarth. Worked the night watch out by the entrance. Wasn't like them lazy gargoyles who just sleep through their shift and hope that Madanak isn't cooking them breakfast in the morning. Cooked the what? No. He stood at his post every night like a bloody draugr, and only when the sun finally crawled over the mountains would he sheathe his sword. A dutiful man. Best damn soldier in the reach. Best man in all of Skyrim. He sounds like a vampire. <laughs> Nah, he sounds like a decent man. Most of us, we work all day. But half the time, we aren't actually working. A rest here, a break there, but not Ungver. I kept telling him, stop making us look bad. But he only kept at it. He pushed me to do the same. Pretty soon, we were both making everyone look like lazy sods. They don't need your help to look bad. They do it themselves. Yeah, A-G-A-B. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> How'd your brother die? Bravely, as only he could. A group of four sworn stragglers, covered by darkness, made a daring attack at the front oh, gate. The four sworn. My brother caught sight of them immediately and ran up the steps to fire the mechanical bow. The ballista? Only. Some foolish sod must have forgot to grease it or something, because the lever was jammed. Worse yet, the guard manning the tower was fast asleep and didn't sound the horn. My brother would have to defend the city gates by himself. So he took on a horde of Forsworn all by himself. He may have died, but I'm proud to say he took three of those savages and a Briarheart with him. He put the fear of Talos in the rest of those stragglers. Let them know that every Reachman was worth a dozen of those Forsworn bastards! Well, sounds like three, but... How did that invasion end? 
The rest of the wild folk fled into the night. Who knows what would have happened had they breached the gate. Hmm, dwarven lovers don't just get stuck, though. This reeks of foul play. Yes, dwarven craftsmanship is many things, but never shoddy. I'd agree with you if Wuthmar didn't see it with his own eyes. He was working the ship that night with my brother. He also happened to be his closest friend. When the horn didn't sound, Ungver told him to run back to the city and wake the guard. My brother stayed. The guard in the tower? Dead. Who knows how many more would have died that day if Ungver wasn't there to save them. My brother died a hero, a savior of the Reach. Anyone who says otherwise, feel free to raise your hand and punch yourself in the face. <laughs> I guess even if it is made by expert craftsmen, it would still need, need to be maintained. How'd you lose your eye? Is your eye missing? <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed to say it, but it was a mud crab. Thing jumped out of nowhere and tried to snatch it. Like a thief swiping a pearl. Damn. Bless my brother's heart. When he found out, he almost ripped out his own eye just so we'd match. <laughs> of course, okay. he wouldn't have had to if I hadn't taken pity on that crazy chef and his worthless potions. I drank four or five of them, and Nary felt a thing. When my eye kept bleeding, I set to oblivion with it and poured it over my eye. Oh, jeez. Might have made it worse. By Ysmir's beard, it felt like a bloody beehive was milling around in my eye the way it stung. Yeah, and no smelled like honey. Why didn't you just use a <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hand it to that chef, though. Here I was, about to lose my eye, and half of me was thinking about how I wanted another taste. Why didn't you just use a restoration spell? Those are real. Do we live in a world of magic and he dumps meat in his face? Hey man, it's all right. You did your best. Tell that to my watch brothers. <laughs> but you're right. If any of them raises a stink, I'll just beat them to a pulp. The only bigger shame than a man who is bested by a mud crab is losing to that man in a brawl. You have fun drinking. Until next time. Is he actually missing it? I'm sure he is missing it. Ooh, he's gonna no, turn no, around. No, but I ogle him, but I, I didn't really notice before. It yeah, I hadn't noticed. Eye. Something on your mind? Uh, I guess he is. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like a glass eye or something. Yeah. Okay, okay. I yes. demand drinks. If I can't get you something, I'm sure my wife will bellow at me until I can. Any rumors? Degain the beggar got himself kicked out of the temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. I wonder why. Might follow up on that later. Yeah, I'll have to look into that one. That sounds kind of interesting. Got some people in here. We got Margaret. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. The woman we saved. You got any idea why Waylon attacked you? No. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. Right. I've never even seen that man before. As you said before, but I'm suspicious! Okay. Farewell. Unlike my husband, Clepper, I watch after our guests. What do you got on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? All that in a bag of chips. Ew, tomato. What are you trying to poison me? Give me that sack of flour, though. What was I should remind Clepper to clean this mine. place up. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? I am a wizard, Ogmund! What can an so old I skull do, do for you, huh? Drink. What, what is a skull? Is that some kind of bard? A skull is a type of burn. That's about the truth of it. Write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. That's pretty cool. Good fighting to you. Thank you. Check the shipments, Lisbeth says. There are no shipments, I says. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. I can see your butt cheeks! You a fighting man? How about a little bet? What kind of bet? I'm drunk, and it's been a while since I had a good fight. A hundred septums says I can take you. Barehanded. 
Ooh, so Hell yeah, let's go, man. Is that all right. That's the spirit. Let's go. Yay, just fighting just time, fighting time. Ah, never should have come here. I bet you can No, do you it. never should have come here. Everyone, let's all beat each other up. I'm winning. Don't forget to weave in a couple of blocks, too. I'll, I'll throw get them you. off. I think you can block. I think it's L1. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's not correct. That's your bet. <laughs> Sorry about that. Why are you just outside drinking, dude? How about a septum? Wait, make that two septums. I feel no. like living it up. Damn dragons could swim Come down on, at You outsiders always have plenty of gold on you. Spare a piece. All right, here, have a piece of gold. Finally. Now get lost. No, I got questions for you. You see that temple? Way up there? All them women keeping to themselves? Won't let poor Degain in, nope. Not even for a look. But they've got a treasure in there. Gold statue size of a child. Who knows what they use it for, but I know what I'll use it for. You want me to steal it? Well, let's not put it like that. Wouldn't want the Thieves' Guild catching you. Hey, is he talking about thing. stealing stuff? Nah, just creep in and oh have God, a go at taking stuff. it out. I'll be here and pay you half of what my man in Riften promised for it. You'll be helping out an old beggar and the divine smile on that sort of thing. Oh yeah, we'll bring it to you, all right. Oh yeah, we'll definitely bring it to you. You want the Diabella statue? We could investigate this thing with the Force Warren, but let's steal a treasure. I'm gonna steal a Declaration of Independence. So you don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, oh. but do you know anything about this house? Uh, seen anyone enter or leave? Man, I just got here. I haven't. I don't know anything about it. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, Ooh. evil rites, and so forth. Oh, you guys are vampire hunters. I I don't know anything, man. Thank you for your time. I got more important things to do, like steal a statue from a temple for a hobo. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> this is very out of character for me. Like the armored means light on the feet. Smart. The, oh, it's up there, I bet. I'm looking. This city is cool! Yeah, it looks nice. I, you know, I haven't really taken the time to, like, look at everything, but, like, this city is cool looking. Look at this place. Yeah. This is neat! I love this! I want to live here. I want my home to be here. It does seem cozy. I want my home to be here. What a cool place this is. Oh, the blacksmith. Tacitus. What is this? Uh, a nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal is. I, I'm sorry. I just, well, the forge gets so hot and I thought, you thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Useless. Now do it again. Yeah, he is useless. Hey, hey, hey. Don't bother with From the Tacitus. Useless. What's wrong with your apprentice? Can't handle a strong orc woman? Tacitus? Boy's an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, but you bring it to me. Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. Yeah, I can do that. Zach, oh. impress her with your expert blacksmithing skills. I have a lot of blacksmithing skills. If I find one, I'll bring it to you. Thanks. Where'd you learn to smith? Grew up in a stronghold. Every orc girl tended the forge at some point. But a girl has to grow up. And life in the stronghold asks for a lot in return. So I joined the Legion. Mastered my trade there. Could you teach Zack some tricks? You already know all that I know. Damn. You're up in a stronghold, huh? That's right. An orc stronghold. Kept to ourselves, lived as our ancestors would have wanted. Wasn't enough for me, though. I left. Didn't want to end up as the third wife of some lowly chieftain. Respectable. Let me know if you need something forged. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this town is a marvel. It seems to have been designed by a suicidal madman, though. 
Watch your step on the higher levels. I ain't got no railings. If it was designed by a suicidal madman, then it would be filled with spike pits. And uh, also, I want to see this because I think it will be funny. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look, he's got a, he's got a, uh, he's got a fuzzy head on top of his fuzzy head. <laughs> well done. You look like an idiot. It's a good look. All right, we'll have to find something else to give him because he looks very silly right but now. But for now, very silly works. For now. <laughs> ah! Let's go. Let's steal a thing. We're not stealing. We're not stealing anything. Let's tactically acquire a thing. Ta yes, we're tactically requisitioning a thing from the Temple of Diabella. Hello, ladies. The sisters are communing with Diabella. They can't be disturbed. Oh. You'll have to come back another time. Not even for me. Look how sexy I am. It's so sexy. You know, I understand now why she turned me away. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Oh my, it isn't often that I'm allowed to lay my eyes upon such a handsome specimen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh you were talking about raccoon, weren't you? And we'll just sneak right on in, no one will be the wiser. Oh, no one will have any idea. Yeah, just slip on in. Ooh, hello Princess Debella. It's not, it's not, it's not a prin Pr Princess Debella. She's not a priestess, Mike. Ooh. Shh, shh, we gotta be sneaky. Ooh. They don't seem to be. Angry. I'm here to interrupt the orgy! What are you doing in here? Stay where you are. The mother will deal with you. She hot? I hope she's a MILF. Okay, we'll stand here and wait, Def, then we'll grab everything within arm's reach. Well, that would be stealing, and stealing is wrong. And just well, what do you think you're doing? Eh, yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Heard there was a valuable statue here. There are many valuable artifacts all through the temple. Unfortunately for you, we don't allow men into the inner sanctum. No. Oh. You have committed a breach and must pay the penalty. What's the penalty? Normally, a quick death. Ooh. Luckily for you, there are more pressing matters. We could make an example of you, but perhaps you could be put to better use. Yes? There's a lot of better uses I can be put to. Multiple ones in your bedroom, specifically. Well, he says that, but he's just happened not to be killed. Uh. <laughs> the ceremony you so rudely interrupted was the exalted protocol of the Debellin Sibyl. I don't expect you to know what that means. I don't know what that means, I'm Suffice stupid. to say that our Sibyl was recently lost to us. Through the protocol, we have seen the home of the next Sybil. To the north, in a small village pressed against the stone. Okay. If you can travel there and retrieve our young Sybil, your transgression will be forgiven. I am not your errand boy! The statue is mine! <laughs> we gave you a choice. Here we go. I made the mistake! 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 I will undertake this penance. Where is the village? We believe the place in our vision to be Karth Waston. Now move quickly. The girl must be brought to the temple as soon as possible. Oh, it's a girl, okay. Well, yeah, they don't allow men in, down here. I, I didn't realize we were being tasked with rescuing a person. I thought a, a sibyl was a sigil, a symbol, a, a, a thing. The sibyl of Debella spends her entire life in direct communion with the goddess. From the time she's a little girl to the moment she expires, she is a direct connection with the Heavenly Mother. From her reverie, we know the mind of our God. We have had a vision of the next Sibyl, living in a village to the north. She must be brought to the temple for her reverie to begin. The girl's just taken away from her family? It's considered a great honor for the family. Their daughter will never know hardship, and the Goddess blesses them with great bounty. A very honorable kidnapping. Why is it all such a secret? We prefer not to announce that the Sybil has died until we can introduce the new one. People like to know that we're connected to the goddess. White smoke! A new Sybil has been chosen! Is there anything else in it for me besides, you know, the not being killed part? Have you heard of the blessing of Debella? It can help you with the wooing of women if that's your aim. <laughs> or give you strength if you happen to offend one. Typically, we avoid bestowing it upon men, but for the Sybil's escort, we could make an exception. 
Uh, he already rubbed his face on the lover's stone. I don't know if we need this. That just makes me level up faster. Yeah, we're definitely doing the quest, and I'm not gonna just come down here and uh, take that. Marvelous, and they were none the wiser. No one had any clue. I wasn't back there. I think the statue fell behind that uh, podium. Yeah, I think it fell behind the Chesterfield back there. Look really hard. If you don't see it, it's probably because you're not looking hard enough. Uh, it probably like rolled under the sofa or something. The, 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 the place looks cool. I'm sorry, this place just looks cool. It's a very nice location. It looks really cool. Yeah. All right, good view. We must go find the Sybil. Look, a barrel filled with lavender. What is this, my sister's house? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's not that far away. It's in Karth Wasting. I've never. We haven't been to Karth Wasting, so let's go. Karth is wasting away. Time's a wasting. Let's go. Ah, uh, Karth's wasting. No, this is. It didn't fall out of my pocket. It fell out of your pocket. My note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. No, it didn't fall out of my pocket. It fell out of your pocket. Mm, no. Mock potato. My note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Don't you try to give me this note. I don't want the note! All right, then. No! No, you get back here! We'll you get back here and you take the note! I should have come 